I would just know myself spontaneous, interesting, creative. I'm sure you would. <laughs> would you <laughs> not? I would. Wow. talking about this test right now we've actually taken it before mm -hmm. just by ourselves so we already know what type we have assessed ourselves as and right? it seemed very very accurate it's like the most accurate personality test i think i've ever taken it's yeah, for sure. pretty spot on it's kind of creepy but today we're going to take it for each other and see if we still score the same type see how well we actually know each other and they've since come out with a new Harder version of this test. Yeah, they say it's more accurate, so we'll see. I don't know. How we have assessed ourselves before, I'm a type 3, he is a type 2, and, and uh, we're yeah. just gonna... And our wings are what the other person's main type is. I know, I'm a 3 wing 2, he's a 2 wing 3, we're just like... We're gonna see if we um, get the same type assessing each other. So let's get this show on the road. Alright, so I'm taking this for you and you're taking this for me. So you're answering mine. I'm 8% through it and I've done nothing yet. What? It's so successful. Oh. <laughs> it feels great. Okay. I started the test. And okay, the first okay. one. Let's start with you. I fear being inadequate, plain, emotionally cut off, ordinary, mundane, abandoned, defective, or flawed. Um, I feel like you're in the middle. I feel like I'm more to the agree side of that. You're more to not, the agree Not fully side. agree, but almost. Being efficient, achieving goals, and checking tasks off the list are very important to me and help me feel successful and productive. Uh, I feel like it's one of these two. Gotta do it. Gotta choose. Uh, Be mm. bold. Anger comes quickly from my gut and expresses itself quickly and without much thought. That is a hard no. Investigating, gathering, studying, and mastering information is not just a fun passion, but provides me a sense of control and safety. It helps me to feel adequate, knowledgeable, and capable. Um, I feel like you're in the middle of that. I feel like I'm like on the agree side of that. You have to think anytime mm. something comes up, I always have to like read about it and figure it out and see, you know. Despite pleasant circumstances, I'm constantly experiencing anxiety about possible future unknown events. That's hard to agree. <laughs> that is fully uh, agree. I have a deep longing to be appreciated by others and pride myself on how I attend to their needs, but my own health and well-being sometimes suffer because of my strong desire to focus on others' needs before my own. I put other people's needs above mine, but it's like I try to take care of myself as best as possible also. Mm, to put you in the middle of I feel like more on the right side of that. Mm -hmm. Uh, no matter where I am, errors or mistakes leap out at me, assault me, and berate me until they're fixed. <laughs> uh, they do. Think about when we're working on a song. That's, yeah. They assault fear, me. I fear being in conflict. Um, I don't fear conflict. Well, but it's an experienced relational tension, being loveless, separate, uncomfortable, and important, overlooked, shut out, or in any inharmonious relationship. Maybe you're in the middle. What? I respond to whatever life throws at me with confidence, intensity, passion, and a tough exterior. Whatever life throws at you? I feel like I figure it out. 17%. Fear of being rejected, inconsequential, disposable, unwanted, not needed, and unloved. Do you feel that? Yeah, probably. Describe myself as deep, intellectual, emotional, authentic, accomplished, unique, and longing for beauty. Longing for beauty is such a random one on that list. Kind, agreeable, quiet, peaceful, calm, patient, receptive, and a good listener. Yep. Well, you're Great. not always the agreeable. One I don't agree with. But not, for I'm the most part, you're, yeah. you're, yeah. When situations become too emotionally intense or distressing, I will feel a strong urge to lighten things up a little. Sometimes. I like just some take forever. My superpower is knowing exactly what others are feeling without them even telling me. I also know what they need and feel an inner pull to meet their needs and show them affection. Which I put you there or there for that. Up to you. Uh, at least for me. That's how I feel. I fear searching my own opinions. <laughs> Yep. Outspoken, direct, realistic, opinionated, bold, and protective, decisive, and tough. Uh, yeah, I'd say mostly. What you're not decisive it, though. Yeah, sometimes. Decisive sometimes, sometimes, you are. Things, yeah. sometimes you are. I'm decisive on anything except for small things. Like I'm really decisive on important things, just not things that are to me seem like meh. This is all of you. I would describe myself as smart, prepared, responsible, dutiful, hardworking, worried, strong, doubtful, anxious, loyal, and committed. That's like it's all like, of like, the things. That's, that's all of the brain. things you are. Like, the world is a dangerous place and most people have hidden agendas, so I'm constantly on the lookout for possible threats for things that could go wrong. Yes. Absolutely you. There's a right way to do everything and every task should be done in a systematic and orderly way to ensure accuracy. I'm on the very middle. There's some things that some be, things you want to do things like, is like a different If you can like find a better way to do it, there's way. always a different way to do things. We're only on page 4 of oh. 12. Oh my okay. gosh. Let's just speed this up. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's so you. Do you fear these things? Somewhat. 
<laughs> get satisfaction out of a good confrontation. Oh yeah. Yeah, you do. Especially once with somebody that just doesn't know what they're talking about. I never want to be plain, ordinary, beige, or mundane. Beige, what a way to say that. How are we not even halfway through this? Wow. This is killing me. Mm. I'm literally falling Do you through. enjoy the anticipation of something as much as the experience itself? Probably. I desire to always be right. Mm, you got uh, to. I thought this would be so easy to answer for you, but I literally haven't been able to answer any. Myself. <laughs> you might as well be the one taking this for yourself. Uh, when people ask me where I want to go to dinner, I habitually say, I don't care, where do you want to go? Literally you, every single time. I like to make people happy. Do you feel like your feelings are the foundation of who you are? I'd say for the most part. It's not seeing you struggle with all these. I know, I like I don't I don't know how I'd answer for you. Do you strive to be perfect because your inner critic or others will judge you? I feel like most people do to an extent. Do you feel like you constantly compare yourself to others. Not in that way. Oh good, these are shorter. Thank goodness. These are so much shorter. Do you more feel that your focus of attention is on other people's needs? Yes. Or if you want people to know how you will feel, you'll tell them and you wish they wouldn't ask. These like have nothing to do with no, each other. No, I'd rather somebody ask them and me tell them. But which one is more you? Probably that one. We're almost there. Last one. I do not want obligations placed on me to be forced to share my emotions and secrets or to be expected to socialize beyond what my limited energy reserves will allow. I'm constantly trying to help support and give up myself since my heart is constantly craving the approval, validation, and love of others. Which one best describes you? You got the same one! Hey. So it says you are a type two, which he got before. But basically you just took it again. Yeah. So. That wasn't much help. So it says of all the Enneagram types, two stand out for their personal warmth, strong relational skills, selflessness, and eagerness to support people in their time of need. Possessing relational superpowers and intuition, they create feel-good atmospheres, always going the extra mile, and defining themselves through service to others. Their caring heart, intuition, empathy and desire for every person to experience love reflect the love and nurture of god Aww. how lucky am i what drives a type two to think feel and behave in particular ways your core fear is being rejected and unwanted being what, why is there thought, an worthless oh meaning gosh. consequential dispensable or unworthy of love i love Core desire, being appreciated, loved, and wanted. I appreciate, love, and want you, babe. Your core weakness is pride. Pride? Pride? Okay, yeah. my yeah. turn. All right. My turn. I would describe myself as deep, intellectual, emotional, authentic, accomplished, unique, and longing for beauty. What? Confidence and passion? Passion. Oh, right. The confidence and intensity oh, of exterior. Right. I feel like you don't usually. Um, uh, no, not really. Like I'm like in the middle. Well, no, I always say like wherever you guys want to go. Actually, no, I put myself out there. I like fear the being rejected. The consequences are supposed to be Yeah. Oh, for sure. To distrust my own thoughts, which leads me to see the others from those. Absolutely. I feel like you definitely do. My fear of failing, being incapable, unimpressive, to be second best, full lackluster, unmasked, incompetent. Yeah. Wow, I fear a lot of things. Being effective, achieving goals. Checking tasks off the list, yeah. I would describe myself as kind, agreeable, quiet, peaceful, calm, patient, perceptive, good listener. Oh, uh, middle. I'm middle? in the middle with that. You're agreeable. Yeah, like I'm agreeable and Are receptive. You? I'm receptive. I'm a good listener. <laughs> Anger comes quickly from my gut and expresses itself quickly and without much thought. Yeah, you put it i just got myself spontaneous, interesting, creative. I'm sure you would. <laughs> would you not? I would. Wow. Fear being in conflict. Yes. Strongly agree. Feel secure and safe. When there is order. order and consistency. Yes. I'm going to express myself. I express will. Express on myself. Express on myself. Ooh. Sports from champions out today. I'm quick to give up on my desires now. <laughs> Too blunt, opinionated, intimidating, intensive, and domineering. Have you ever thought that I were any of those things? Because I'd say that's not you in this area. A peacekeeper? You want to be. I'm not a peacekeeper! <laughs> oh, finally, they're getting shorter. Okay. Which of these best describes you? No, it probably is more about this. Wait. So no, really they're both that me. Ah. Uh, oh. Mm, oh. No, that one. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, that one. It's like these go hand in hand, though, because they do this to avoid that. I feel like it's more of that. It gave me a different one, you guys. I knew it was going to because you went with the negative side of it instead of the positive side of it. So what does that mean? Scroll down. I thought I knew who I was and now I don't even know who I am. Type 7, the entertaining optimist. 
Type 7s stand out for their eternal optimism, charisma, and fun-loving nature. Their upbeat and inventive approach to things, coupled with the eagerness to explore new possibilities, causes them to have a broad range of interest, knowledge, and wide so social disagree with this one. Flexibility, love of life, ability to garner support and contagious enthusiasm, reflects the joy and abundance of God. Or fear of being deprived, trapped in emotional pain, limited or bored, missing out on something fun. Or desire of being happy, fully satisfied, and content. Or weakness, gluttony, feeling a great emptiness inside and having an insatiable desire to fill yourself up with experiences and stimulation in hopes of feeling completely satisfied and content. Or longing, you would be taken care of. I feel like you're definitely more of a three. I feel like I'm definitely more of a but three. But to be fair, you took this a different way than you did last time. So I feel like that was wrong. In conclusion, I feel that yours was spot on because you got the same one both times. You Mine changed the answers was... that I was choosing on yours though. Did I really? Be, yes, I was oh. gonna choose one and then you kept. You were like, no, and, oh, and I was like, come on. I think she did it to herself. She was, she was in too, she was too negative. Then why did it give me the enthusiasm? <laughs> Anyway, you guys, we hope you found that interesting. We'll link the test down below if you guys want to take it and find out your type. You can comment your type down below. It's fun um, if you take it for yourself. Very accurate. It's super interesting. I just think it's fun to learn more about yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Exactly. And if you're one of the first people to comment, Sunday. oh wait, give you shout outs like yeah, we're about to do. Right now. Shout out to Macy Starling, Annalise Winterberger, Michelle Parker. Thank you guys so much for being the first three on last week's video. We love you guys, and we'll see, see you, you next, next Sunday. Sunday.